The Uruguay through to the last eight in the Cup of America after a comfortable win over Bolivia. But who will they face in the next round? We'll take them a little bit up. That's right, folks, back once again with another review. Look back, of course, to last night's Copa America match between Bolivia and Uruguay. And we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new, where have you been, boys? Smash your subscribe button, look at your bang today. All things Copa America related, Baba Rovers related. Whoa, football, we're going to roll here. Under one Ruskies, that's right. Of course, Uruguay are home and hoes. They're actually through to the knockout stages and looking good for at least the runners up spot over in Group A. And of course, Bolivia look like they are out. I think it's confirmed. Uh, they do have one more game left on the agenda, but it is up against Argentina. And I don't think they're going to get enough points. Anyway, we'll take a look at that. And just a second, big big shout out to the VIPs. They are the Patreons. And of course, if you're new, smash your subscribe. Check out the links down below. I'm on Twitter, Twitch, and of course, a Patreon as well. So make sure to check those bad boys out. Here we go then. Of Bolivia up against Uruguay uh, over in Group A. Uh, let's take a look at the, the, some of the stats and figures that made up this game. 2 0 in the end. It was Uruguay. Of course, Yadier Quintaros with the first goal was big fat OG. Not pretty. Not for one. Not one for the for the for the, uh, for the record books. But uh, they all count in the end on the 40th minute. Just before, before half time, quite an evenly game, uh, evenly a uh, spread game possession wise. 52% going in favour of Uruguay, 48% going in favour of Bolivia. But as you can see from the shots, it is one sided in that regard. Uruguay wrapped it all up on the 79th minute with Edison Cavani with a bit of a zing, and that's right. Nice little breakaway goal in the end. Put the put the chair on top, and of course the three points will stay with Uruguay. 22 shots, goodness gracious me. Seven of them on target, two of them off target. Three of them were blocked. As for Bolivia, just the four. Uh, three of them were on target, though. Clinical, uh, just one off target. Uh, corners, five to three, going in favour of uh, Uruguay once again. Uh, the big chances, seven of them for Uruguay. Six of them were missed. Uh, so 15 shots was inside the box. Seven long range bad boys. 501 passes to the 468 uh, with an 84% success rate with those passes uh, and 83% success rate with, of course, Bol Bolivia's passes as well. Uh, as for the aerial duels, they were won by uh, Uruguay 17 to 7. Uh, comfortable height advantage, you would think. But as you can see, tell the tape does show, uh, you know, yeah, the possession is, is, is even. And we'll have a look at those heat maps in a second. But the shots were very, very much in favor of Uruguay. And it's reflected here on that shot grid. The dark square here. I don't even know what color you would call that. That is Uruguay. And a lot of a lot of shots within the box and a couple of quite a few outside the box. I think the green ones are the ones that are on target. As you can see for uh, uh, Bolivia, they were resorted to long range efforts, and three of those long range efforts stung the fingers of the keeper at the very least, and one was way off. Uh, as for the heat maps, here we go. This is Uruguay. A lot of lot of possession, and of course spread out as well across the uh, across the field. Uh, a lot of possession, but of course the majority coming down that left hand side, and again in that middle. Middle third, maybe the attacking third. And again, this I think this is going this way. So this is the attacking area. This is the goalkeeper. So in fact, whatever I said about the left hand side, I actually mean the right hand side. That's it. So the attacking exports coming down that right hand side. I uh, went in defence. Uh, more, more often than not, it's coming down the left. Uh, as for uh, Bolivia, keeper, very, very busy here, stinging the fingers as well. Uh, and, of course, when they try to get possession, get possession, with that 48%, coming down that right-hand side more often than not. And, again, trying to move forward as, as, as further, off, uh, further, further up as they could, uh, but ultimately not really too much advantage. Let's take a look at the old uh, touch map here for Uruguay. Once again, keepers over here, attacking areas up here. And, again, a lot of the touches are up to this right-hand side. As for Bolivia, again, keeper, very, very active. And when they did come forward again down this right hand side for Bolivia, and again uh, forced to shoot from range. Uh, for maybe the experienced back line for Uruguay. Let's take a look at the starting lineups then, shall we? With, of course, uh, Uruguay kicking us all off. Musala between the six. Jimenez, Godin, of course, Capitano, Vina, and Nandes make it be back for Vecino, Valverde, De La Cruz, and Exacesta uh, with Suarez Cavani up top. Uh, 29-year-old, average age on this one, $250 million worth of talent uh, in this team. Uh, as for uh, Bolivia, just £6 million worth of talent and 26.5, a much younger team. Lampe between the sticks, though, Quintaros, Justino, Fernandez, Savarin, I make up your back four with Justiano, uh, Villarreal, uh, Vaca, uh, Carlos Aca, Chure, and Ramilo as well. I'm just trying to have a quick look. There is uh, just one guy worth more than a million squid, and that is Savarida. Uh, it actually plays over in Bolivia as well. I think the, more often than not, all these players do play in Bolivia uh, in their national, in uh, domestic clubs there. As for the substitutions, we did see uh, Giovanni Gonzalez uh, coming on, uh, Rodri uh, Rodrigo Betaco, Facundo Torres, uh, Maxi Gomez as well. As for Bolivia, we also saw the likes of um, 
Marcelo, uh, Marcelo Martins coming on, Marcelo Marino uh, coming on for a little bit as well. Hopefully he'll be back for the next one. Henry Vaca, uh, Erwin Sanchez and Denny uh, Bajarano alongside Jorge Flores as well. Hello, how are they all lined up here, of course, in the man of the match and all that kind of stats. Uh, 6.7 for, for Liana Justiano, but of course, the, I think the man of the match was, of course, the keeper. Uh, definitely for for uh, for Bolivia, Carlos Lampe, very, very busy. Uh, Jaro Quintana also with a 7. As for uh, Uruguay, uh, 8.2 for Ve Federico Valverde. And of course, the attacking line was 7.6 for Cavani. Uh, John de Cassetta has got a 7.7 .7 as well. Uh, at the back, we got 7.8, Matthias Wiener as well. Down here is the time of events. As you can see, the goal just before the break. And of course, the last, the second goal, right towards uh, mid, uh, about two thirds of the way through the second half. Uh, to wrap up the three points. Uh, the situation over in the table then, shall we? Of course, Argentina, uh, Paraguay, Chile are through. Uh, Uruguay are there as well. So we already know the four nations that will make the quarterfinals, uh, uh, or part of the quarterfinals anyway, uh, for the Copa America. Bolivia will be out. They will take on Argentina in their final game. Uh, and of course, Uruguay will take on Paraguay for basically the right to be second. And of course, if Uruguay were to win, uh, it'll put Chile down into fourth spot where they're likely, and I think that it's already confirmed they will play Boisou. Uh So, uh, yeah, it's it's uh, a sticky wicket. I think Uruguay will, will fancy the chances as well to finish second. Uh, they haven't been great, though. They've not been fantastic. They did beat Bolivia, but uh, I think that's their only win, right? That's their only win. So we'll see how they pan out as well. I'll be hoping for a, a, a Paraguay win uh, for them to go second. In fact, Paraguay could, could technically win the group, but um, I think Argentina should beat Bolivia. No problems in the end so there you have it folks they have have it. of course the penultimate games over in group a will of course be back for previews and reviews for the final games over in group a and of course prediction show so make sure you come and check that out but before that give the video a on smash your thumbs up smash your subscribe check out the links down below on twitch facebook and of course patreon as well uh, of course looking forward to those quarterfinals with uh, this is where the nitty gritty starts to start to take shape and of course we could see some surprises on our hands but until then give the video a on and i'll see you soon for the next one